here is three strengthening exercises for the hips to balance all the muscles around your hips, around your pelvis. You will need a towel and a loop band. So let's start with the towel by folding it lengthwise in half and then fold it in half again. You'll have that rectangle that is a little bit smaller and I like to make it a little bit thinner but higher up. We are going to leave the towel on the side of your hips, grab a loop band, place your feet through that loop band and bring the band all the way on top of your thighs. You want the band to be stretchy to, to not restrict you from the movement, but strong enough that you feel the muscles engaging. Lie down on one side of your body, place the towel just above your hips. So find where your hips are finishing and you'll have a little bit of softer part on the side of your waist before your ribs start. So that's where the towel should be. We are going to use the towel to help us to stabilize the pelvis. Your lower arm will be straight, Bring your knees all the way in, so you want to bend your hips at 90 degrees, but try to keep your shoulders and your hips exactly in one line. The best way is to lie down on a yoga mat and have your shoulders aligned with the back end of the mat and have your bum at the very end of the mat as well. Then, when your knees are at 90 degrees, I want you to have a look at both knees and make sure that your top knee is in one line with your lower knee. That will determine if your pelvis is falling back or if it's stacked one on top of the other. The towel underneath you will help you to keep the waist lifted so we're not collapsing in the waist. So it's a great help. Let's activate your ankles, curling your toes towards your shins. This is a little bit more challenging position because your glutes are already in a stretched position. So whenever you're ready, bring your top hand on your hip, lengthen your spine and gently pull the belly away from the t-shirt. Have a sensation of an ice cube being dragged around your stomach all around, all the way up towards your ribcage. So you're feeling like you're gently pulling your belly away from the t-shirt. Now, one more time, have a look at your knees, make sure that they are stacked in one line, ankles are active, and lift your top leg higher than your hip without shifting your hips to the back. And when you're coming back, your top leg is as long as the lower leg. We'll lift all the way up, and then all the way down. We'll go for eight more repetitions, and you lower down, last seven. Maybe even exhale to go up, inhale to go down. Five, you will feel all the muscles on the side of your hip working. Last four, keep your body nice and still. Last three, keep looking at that knee, it should be in one line with the lower leg. Two, one more only, lift up, and then lower down, great. Then bring your top hand behind your pelvis on that flatter part of your pelvis and make sure that your hips are not pressing your hand back. So you want to feel no resistance against your, against your hand. You want to feel like it stays nice and relaxed. Engage your core, so feel like you're pulling the belly away from that imaginary ice cube. Lift your knee as high as your hip and imagine that you have a paintbrush on your knee and you want to draw a circle with that knee. Slow, controlled movement. And make those circles as big as you can without rolling on the hand, without moving the body. So it's very slow, articular rotation inside that hip socket. We're spreading all that synovial fluid, spreading all the nutrients into that hip socket. And by this movement, we're making the body to produce more of that synovial fluid up and around. Great. We are going for 10 repetitions all together. Slowly controlled. Breathe through it. I think we have only four left. Up and around. You will feel all the muscles on the side of your hip working here. Last four only. Last three. Up and around. Last two, keep looking at that knee. When that knee comes closer to the lower leg, make sure that that knee is as far forward as the lower leg is. One more, and then let's reverse them. So you'll bring your knee back, up and around. So the goal here is to go for a full range of motion, as big as we can. So the band that we're using, we don't want that band to restrict us in the movement. So sometimes lighter band is a little bit better than too strong. 
five. Because we are starting with building strength and mobility in the joint. Last four on me. Up and around. Last three. Hop. Good. Last two. If your lower leg is trying to lift off the floor, press it down. And then one more. So there's more muscles working, more muscles engaged. And then release. Stack your feet together, knees together. Knees should be in one level. Bring that hand back on your, on your hip. Actually, no. Let's keep that hand in against the pelvis again. Then lift your top knee up. Keep your foot facing down towards the floor and try to externally rotating that leg as much as you can without shifting your hips back. And then internally rotate that leg when you lower down. So you turn it out, feel like the leg is like a screw inside your hip and feel like you want to turn it in to lower down. If this is easy, you can keep your knee lifted and then you can lift your heel all the way up as you're bringing the knee together. So you can break your clamshell and then turn it in. And when you're turning it out, you want to lift that knee as high as possible. When you're turning it in, you want to lift that heel as high as possible. We're still not shifting the pelvis back or forth. We're keeping it nicely stacked. There's no really harder or easier, easier position to do the clamshell. Are they together or, or that broken clamshell? Depending which one activates the muscles around your hip a little bit more. So we'll aim for 10 repetitions of those. I lost counting, but I think we are somewhere around 10. And release. Well done. Let's stand up for a second. Stand on both feet. And whichever side you just worked, when you do a standing roll down, you'll notice that that side of your body is longer. You'll feel like that leg is longer. You might, might even feel like your arm is longer. So what we did, we tried to create a little bit more space in that hip. So all the muscles around the hip work like a team together. Roll back up and let's do the other side. The same exercises. So I like to be aligned with the back end of the mat, with my bum and then the shoulder. Then I know that I'm fully aligned with my spine. Lower arm is straight and the head is relaxing. Pull the knees in front of your hips. And if you are in front of a mirror, then you could see if you're properly stacked. If not, lift your head, have a look at your hips. They should be at 90 degrees here. We want to have 90 degrees under your knees and really flex your ankles. So the full leg is working and supporting the hip. Make your top leg as long as the lower leg. The top leg likes to hang in the back a little bit. Bring that hand on your hip. Imagine that frozen ice cube on your belly being dragged around your stomach and just lift your top leg higher than your hip and then lower than the hip. So our goal here is to balance all those muscles up and down and make sure that we can fully move the legs inside the hip socket with the full range of motion without using the back muscles when we're using the legs. Good. Five more on me. Lift up, in and release. So those exercises activate all the muscles that are relaxed when we're sitting. So it basically helps with all those side effects that we get from sitting. Four, good, last one. Lift up, in and lower. Your top hand will go just against that flat part of your pelvis. Engage your core, lift your knee as high as your hip and start drawing circles doesn't matter which direction, up and around. The most important is that the circles are slow and controlled. So you feel the muscles contracting and stretching and supporting. And in four, they're a little bit harder than when we do them slower, opposed to doing them a little bit faster. Five, and then we have only five left. Up and around. Maybe the circles could become a little bit bigger. Good. Last three only, up and around. Last two. And then one more. Hop, make sure that the knees are evenly long and then reverse them. Go back and around the other way. 
If your lower leg wants to lift off the floor, just keep pressing it down. It's just going to make the exercise harder. Three. And breathe through every repetition. Five, up and around. And then five more. And the deeper your inhalations are, the deeper your exhalations are, the more work you're doing with the pelvic floor. Last four. So even without thinking about the pelvic floor, we're making it stronger. Last three, your ankles are flexed. Last two. And then only one more. I hope you can feel your hip a little bit. And then relax. Make sure that your knees are leveled. Bring the, bring the top knee all the way up. So that will turn the position of your foot and your foot is facing to the floor. Your hand is still against the back of the pelvis and then internally rotate that leg to lower down. So we don't want to allow the gravity to just pull that leg down. You want to feel like you're controlling against that resistance of the band. You turn it out and if this is easy, try that broken clamshell position when the knee goes up one direction and then heel goes up on the other turning in and out. So whichever, whichever works better for you. Hop. And sometimes if we're not sure which one is better, we can change it. One day we can do a normal clamshell, one day we can do the broken one. The most important with the clamshell is that that knee goes higher. If you feel like you go to your maximum, try to go a tiny bit higher. Like a quarter of a millimeter will make a big difference inside that hip socket. Let's do two more, one more, and then release. Great work. If you stand up, you'll notice that both sides of your body just feel even. So when we roll down, your arms are even, your legs are even, and the hips feel great, and then roll back up. If you have time, do it again on the right and left side, and please let me know how it feels, and if you have any questions.